everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. A few weeks ago, I was literally telling someone, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna make a full panel shaker. I, I don't really think it's in my wheelhouse. And then Waffle Flower Crafts sent me these full panel shakers with the adhesive already built in. And I was like, it's a no brainer. I can do this. This is such a cool product and I'm excited to share the project. So I thought I'd get a little fancy with stenciling and then we're gonna make a shaker, easy style. My shaker card project with this cool product is coming up next. So here's a look at the two main things I'm gonna be using today. And I gotta show you, look at this Sunrise Mountain layering stencil set. You have the trees and the sky, mountain detail, sky, like the sunrise coming up, and mountains. So this is what I'm going to use to create a really cool panel that I will then cut down to make my shaker card. So I'm very excited to try this. I can't wait to show you all the sequins that I have never used. And I'm gonna go pick out some ink colors and we'll get started with ink blending. Oh, I am gonna be using a piece of Nina Solar White Classic Crest. I'm gonna use larger than I need, which is just what I like to do so that I have all the space to trim down. Those are the basics and I'll figure out the greeting as we go. To get started today, I'm not even gonna use my uh, stencil mat because some of you don't have a stencil mat and that's fine. You can buy one if you like, it's no big deal. If you don't have one, I'm showing you what I would do and that is just this. Tape my stencil down, right? Tape it into place so that it doesn't shift and move. Although, look at that little guy. I bent my stencil a little and you know what I might do? I might take some low tack adhesive, hold on here. All I'm gonna do is flip my stencil over. Mm -hmm. I bent it when I was cleaning it and you'll, it'll make sense soon, soon enough, but I'm just gonna get a little bit going and I'm just gonna put the smallest amount right on that little friend so that when, let's see, did I fix it? So that when it comes back down, it sticks. There we go. So now here's the thing, I was filming a bunch of stuff and it got to be entirely too long and I thought to myself, let's just show them what works, Kath, and then we're gonna talk about what didn't work. First things first, I am masking off trees. This is a new product that I've been trying out, this Heffy Doodle tape, and that's, that's all it is. See that right there? Okay, pressing you down again, trying to burnish you in a little, and I'm going to add some green. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my green, the green I'm going to use is called Field, and this is a Simon Says Stamp ink color. And all I'm gonna do is load this up on my brush. I just wanna make sure that it's coming on nicely, and all I'm gonna do is ink blend. Field. It's a very nice foresty green, right? And like now my stencil's staying in place like I wanted it to, and life, life is good. Okay, so we're just gonna blend that in to the trees. Nice foresty color, very regal. And you can go as dark as you like, you know, you can see what happens when I get it a little darker down here, you get a whole different look. And that's just me going back over and coming up. I want these to be dark because, well, I think, isn't it, if it's in the foreground, it's darker I could be wrong. I think I have a little tape issue happening there because of the uh, my glue. Hopefully not, hopefully it'll be fine. So here's what I wanna show you. I am not doing anything else. I'm not doing the sky. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do any of the other rings because I am going for a very simplified look. Now when you use a stencil, you can adapt this any way you like, right? You don't always have to make it exactly as the stencil was intended. For layer two, all I'm gonna have to do is figure, oh my gosh, you know what I didn't do? Because I don't have my, uh, let's see here, layer three. I think I have to do layer four next because I didn't get this set up where I wanted it to be. And so now I need to do the tree layer next because there's marks that you can use all around here and I did not set those up. See, there's a, you can see the little score line. So if you were doing this 
on a USA 2, it would be easy for you to see that. But I did not make it easy for you. So I'm just getting the trees lined up in their position like that. And I'm going to add my purple. And it's it sort of crosses the line here between a purple and a pink. But I'm going to go with this for my, my mountain body. For my, for my mountains, purple mountains majesty, I'm loading up with a color called taffy. Okay. Now this is the fourth stencil, but I have to do it this way so that I can truly see where to put the other layers. Okay. And you'll see, I'm gonna keep it simple and not use all of the stencil, but we're going darker here at the base of the mountain, right? Where the, okay, like that, it's coming up. And then we're gonna work our way up the mountain. Okay, and then just come up here. shadow right in there that can be a little darker because it's behind right and then we're going to add lightness with the lighter color here so this color this ink color actually reminds me a little bit of Simon Says Stamps oh I just got some on my finger let's clean that off or your Manny's going to regret it uh Hot Mama it reminds me of Hot Mama which is such a beautiful color but this is in the new positively saturated formula and you gotta be you gotta be careful with this one. This one is a it's a sassy color and it can stain. That's why I wanted to get it off my finger, because I've had it stain as I've been playing with it a little. But that's that, okay? We're taking this off and reveal. Okay. Yeah, I think I did have a little bit of mucky muck in there, but it's okay because most of it's gonna trim right away. Now I can bring in my mountain detail, right? And just line it up right like that. Again, just going to tape this into place so it doesn't shift while I'm blending. This is bubble gum. Okay. And we'll load up bubble gum. Just want to make sure that it's coming through nicely. And we'll just lightly add this color to the mountainside where the sun technically would hit. That's what it does. <laughs> Even though the sun's coming up from behind, right? We're just going for it because it's our reality, right? We get to make it whatever we want. And dag nam it, the sun's coming where we want it to come. Okay. All right. Isn't that pretty? It's light. Maybe go a little darker at the base and then just fade it up. Make that a little darker. Like that. And it comes right up. Okay. And then we get what we like to call purple mountains majesty. Whoop, isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. All right, I'm gonna go rinse off my stencils before I use the last stencil. The last piece that I'm lining up here is going to be the sun coming up and I am only going to do the sun. I am not going to necessarily worry about creating all these lovely layers of color because I want to do something with a greeting. I have this vision. I want to make that vision reality and one more little piece. You can use, you know, you don't have to be as excessive as what I am doing here. I got a, I got a lot of tape happening, right? Oh, you know what though? You just missed that. Look at that. You gotta be, you gotta be paying attention when you're masking. Okay. We are set. I have a brush. I'm not really sure if this is the right color. I think that it is cantaloupe. I want an orange sun like that. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Because I think if the, if the sun is orange, it'll just kind of have that lovely sunsetty purple mountains majesty. But the other thing that is happening with this blend, this is a triadic color scheme. We are using three colors that basically sit at triadic relationships on the wheel. So these colors, right? Per this is basically Halloween colors, right? 
But the reason they work together is triadic schemes just have maximum contrast and a harmonious connection. So we're going to have this sun, right, that is orange because it's just going to make sense. And this is a gorgeous color. I'm trying to blend it up. Oh, I did get a little... <laughs> I am a messy, messy Marva today. I, I'm getting ink in places I wish I wasn't, but that's okay because that's what we're doing. I'm going to lift this up and we're going to reveal the base of this panel that's going to be in our shaker. Okay. And the thing is you can add all the other bands, right? You can do all the other things, but I did not want to, right? I did not want to do that. Although I'm going to tell you one thing that I am going to do, not that layer. Where's the other layer? I need to bring back one stencil because I would like to see about adding a little bit in there. Let me go see if that one's dry. Although I might leave it. But what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of melon, a little, just a little, and create a glow. Well, I think this will create a glow. I want to keep it isolated and just have a glow like this. Okay, just a little glow like that around the sun. I could do the full band. I just don't want to. I just want it to be a little glowy. You know what I mean? Just a little glowy. And this allows me to kind of capitalize. I'm going to rotate my paper. That's going to make it easier. It'll allow me to capitalize on the stencil, right? Holding that in place so I can mask a little and it will give me just the glow I'm looking for. Now, of course, you can go full out with the bands, but I didn't want to. It's not the it's not really the look I'm going for today. And let's see, let's lift everything up. See that? So now you just get a little glow. The next thing I'm going to do is trim down my panel so that I can stamp a greeting. And the greeting set that I'm gonna to use today, this is called Sentiment Editions 2. And I'm just gonna take this really pretty hello and stamp that once I've, once I've die cut this down. So let me trim this out and we'll proceed. Before I try to stamp though, I'm gonna kind of facilitate the drying a little bit with my heat it tool because this ink does take a little bit longer to dry and I'm gonna do some embossing here and I think it'll be okay. Like even if I, I just really wanna focus on the sun area because I'm gonna be stamping at the top and embossing. All right, all right, put that at the top. That looks pretty straight as it's coming up over the sun. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up like that and I am gonna powder this up quite a bit. I should do the powder test first, to be honest with you, because if the powder doesn't want to come off, I'm going to have to wait. So have you ever done the powder test? I'm going to show you the powder test. It's pretty great. We're going to go like this. We're going to put powder on here. And if it sprinkles off without sticking to the top of the mountains in the sun, we know it's good. See that right there? See how it didn't stick? Mm, or see how it did stick? That is okay for positioning because that I can brush away. So I'm going to ink up here with Versamark, okay, like that. Give a nice coating and let's bring this more in the center. I'll get my press tool. Of course, this just really helps my wrists from hurting while I press and transfer my ink. You know, I could do a double stamp. I have the mist. What is that? I have the misty. I might as well just to get that really perfect impression. Put it down again. What's nice is I think I'm gonna cover up, look, I think I'm gonna cover up that little blob of blue with embossing powder. <laughs> oh, on the top too. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm feeling very smart. And if anything sticks where it shouldn't, we will brush it away, okay? And that's gonna be great. I can brush all of that little extra away, I think. I'm gonna blow on it. And here's where this little brush is a lifesaver. I'm gonna show you this. I've got a big one, right? And I've got a little one. Let's uh, 
the basic stuff. I'm going to get away from the bottom like that. But the beautiful thing is, and I'm actually going to take that off for now. It did stick more than I thought it would, but you can brush, brush, brush with the angled brush. You just kind of can get closer, but there's also this little smaller one. And that too lets you get even closer. Oh, it's so great though. Look at that. Sometimes the time is worth the effort. Sometimes it's not. So now I have a really pretty shiny. Hello. I have a lot of sequins, a lot of sequins that I just don't even do anything with, you know, like I've got all this like sequin goodness. And uh, <laughs> look, I even have some purple. I bet I could put some purple. Maybe I'll put some purple in. I don't know. This is a pretty pink posh amethyst. I don't know. Maybe some of that or uh, gosh, uh, I could do some some green for my foresty trees. Look at that. Look at that pretty mix. I just have a lot. And actually what I think I'm going to stick with here is just doing gold. Probably I might mix in some purple, but I just wanted to show you like if you, if you look at that SSS groovy, that's beautiful. I just have a lot of mixes that I've never, Oh, neat and tangled. They're not even a company anymore. I've got a lot and this is only one tray full. So <laughs> you know, shaker cards. Who knew? All right. I have not done these before, but here they are. The A2 shaker card covers. There's a protective film on the front. And I guess I could, do I want to do that right now? Or do I want to take it off? You pull the film off the whole piece. See that? Oh, what I'm going to do is put my little friend in, right? Cause it's going to fit perfectly. And then I'm going to just do some little presses here with my bone folder as I'm folding this over just to make it really press. Okay. And then do the same here. I'm, I need to make sure I'm not sealing this off too soon. Let's see. Let's see where the, okay. So that's the bottom. Did I get something in there already? I did. Let's get that out of there. Okay. I'm going to release this right? Get that off real quick so I can do the first one. And it's just got the adhesive built in. So make sure you're at the bottom, right? Like that. Get that in the right position, right? And then you fold it up and press. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now I think too, what I'm going to do probably is glue this whole thing down onto a card base. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. Pull that guy up. We're going to fold you down like, did I get it? Oh, I think I, did I mess it up? No. Yeah. Okay. Let's lift for a second. Come on. Lift for a second. I think I didn't have it quite down flat. Let's make sure. Okay. Now go. Okay. We didn't completely screw the pooch. Close. <laughs> close, but not no cigar. And close only counts as I have learned in horseshoes and hand grenades or does doesn't count. Yeah. You know, thanks to all of you. I know more than I did before. Okay. Go like that. And I'm going to pop that down too. Like that for the first try. I think I'm doing okay. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm doing horribly because now, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we're flattening. <laughs> we're flattening. And now we're going to pop in some sequins, right? Because now we have a pocket to fill with sequins because I recently purchased a buttload of sequins. I have, let's go with some gold, All right, put some in like that. Okay. And actually see, that's the thing. I don't know if I want purple in there because that's not the right purple. So honestly, what if I put in something that was kind of clear? This is called gold fever and it's got more of an opalescence to it. Let's do that. Pop you open like that. Okay. Let's sprinkle some in there. It's shiny like that. And all right, here we go. We're going to flip this over, I guess, right? Like this. 
getting you like this, okay? And hold it flat and fold that down like that. And honestly, I would not need to put this on a note card, right? I mean, you could, but right now, you've just created a super fun, like, shaker that's full of sequins. And then when it's down at the bottom, it's just kind of pretty like that. But if you did put this on a card base, then you could pop it up and have it be in like that. I don't <laughs> I think that's pretty fun. And I'm glad I put in some of the extra gold. But look at that. It's a little, it's a little pocket made for full panel shaker. Should we put it on a card base? So I made a USA2 note card, right? And then I would just, I would just adhere this, right? Oh, look at that. It's just gonna go all over right onto the note card. If I were going to do that, and I'm going to do that for you right now, here's what you need to do. I think you need a really strong adhesive. So I would use something like Easy Runner Grand. This is not one that I bust out for faint of heart things, right? Because I need this to really hold that down. And this stuff is so strong. So, you know, just by going, well, let's see, I'm trying to make sure that I get it on there in the right place. I don't like it to overhang, but check this out. It's so strong. This is not going anywhere. I think even more so than any other adhesive that I have. I wanna make sure this isn't sticking out at the top. Then what you do, you're gonna help yourself in success by just holding that in place, putting your panel right there and pressing. And now I have a card base underneath here. Let's see, take my tape out. So now you can actually, you know, use it as a note card. Although I think now, did I get it a little too close on the side there? I might've, but now you can open it up and inside you can write your little message. And that is seriously the most substantial <laughs> greeting card I think I've ever seen. So that is a stencil plus the shaker. I want to show you though, where this project started. So I absolutely love the finished result, right? This is so cute, having a little bit of shaker coming up my tree and whatever. This is where it started. And this is why I think sometimes, you know, it's okay to change your mind. Like I didn't want all of that. You could see how cool that would be, right? But I felt like I had done a poor job with blending. I wasn't feeling it. I messed up on the bands. And then I thought the thing I love the most is the Purple Mountains. So that became this fun shaker card that you see. So I hope this inspires you, especially check out this, right? And the layered stencil set because it is super fun. But the, the shaker coverage too, really do. Once you come up with something for your background, the sky's the limit. You can find all of the links for today's card project below in the information box. And I will see you back here with another card project soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.